A bomb is found on a railway in Spain just weeks after the Madrid attacks. Train services are halted. There's no word on who's responsible. A ceremony to welcome seven new NATO members, all from Eastern Europe. Elections in Sri Lanka amid a bitter row over the peace process. And we speak to the foreign minister of Pakistan about the fight against Al-Qaeda. Hello and welcome to BBC World News. I'm Zainab Badawi. A bomb has been found under one of Spain's main high-speed railway lines. The device, containing around 10 kilograms of explosives, was discovered between Madrid and Seville in the south of the country. All train services have been... The greatest enemy of that is instability. That is why we are fighting terrorism. Foreign Minister Urshid Kasuri, thank you very much indeed for taking the time thank you. to come and talk to us. Thank you. Still to come on this programme. Turning up the heat in Miami, Andy Roddick is through to the semi-finals of the Masters Series event. That's after this short break. Stay with us. Thank you. Welcome back. You're watching BBC World. A reminder now of our main headlines. Three weeks after the Madrid train bombings killed nearly 200 people, a bomb has been discovered on one of Spain's main railway lines. And a ceremony to welcome seven new NATO members, all from Eastern Europe. Now, let's catch up with the latest international business news, and the man with all the news is Aaron Hesselhurst. Right <laughs> Thanks, Zainab. Hello, everybody. Well, some good news from the U.S. U.S. employers added 308,000 workers to their payrolls in March. It's almost three times what was it. You're watching BBC World. Now, Martin Gillingham has joined us to bring us the latest international sports news. Over to you, Martin. Thank you, Zainab. Ferrari's Rubens Barrichello has set the fastest time in practice for Sunday's first ever Bahrain Grand Prix. It's also the first time a Formula One race will have been held in the Middle East. England still 43 for three in the Caribbean. The West Indies fighting back. That's good news for cricket. I guess so. Martin Gilligan, thank you. A reminder now of our main news. A bomb has been found under one of Spain's main high-speed railway lines. And speaking on this program, Pakistan's foreign minister has said the 70,000-strong Pakistani army is gaining results in their efforts to capture Al-Qaeda operatives with up to 600 arrests made recently. He denied that Pakistan is under pressure to provide results. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. From me, Zainab Adami. Goodbye.